This is Lacey Lockhart, and we are here at the Belmont Apartments in Seattle, Washington, about ready to give you one of the top stories of the year. Hi. Lacey Lockhart. Hi. Nice to meet you. John Monroe, nice to meet you. Come on in. You should have seen me three days ago. I make documentaries, but I hadn't had an idea in months. So when my producer called, I was elated. He was most mysterious, saying only to meet one Ted Monroe at 10 o'clock that Saturday. So we are here in your humble abode. Yes, this is my place. It's maybe small, but it's mine. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful. So you are here in your doctor's garb. Well, actually, I'm a nurse. I'm not a doctor. I'm a nurse. I work at the ER up at Harborview. Oh, wow, the ER, that's, that's great. So you have some exciting, enticing tale to tell of a gunshot wound or a, um, um, a tree on. through the heart or something like that. I can, yes, yeah, sure. But yeah, I, I, before we go any further, I should clarify, when I talked to your producer, he said he wanted to talk, uh, uh, he wanted you to talk with me about my um, invisible friend. He's right here. He says it's nice to meet you as well. Um, he's seen you before. So likes your work. So, um, yeah, I thought the interview was about that. I mean, he's, he's here with us. This is Marty. Marty, Marty yeah. is your imaginary friend. No, he's real. He's just invisible. But he's very real. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Yeah. Fucking ridiculous. No, this is ridiculous. You told me this is going to be the top story of the year. I'm listening. Okay. okay. All right. If you think it's going to work, I'll try it. So we are here with you and your imaginary friend, Marty. Oh, I'm sorry. He's invisible. He's not imaginary. Okay, there's a difference between imaginary and invisible. Please tell me the difference and fill us all in on this conundrum of a factor here. Um, uh, invisible means you can't see something. Imaginary means you made it up. Such as Sasquatch. How do you feel about Sasquatch? Uh, that's probably imaginary. UFOs. Imaginary would be my guess. I haven't thought too much about Loch Ness. It. Yeah, there's no proof of that either. How do you feel about tomatoes? I guess I don't understand how that relates to Marty. Um. <clears throat> okay. Most people would understand that. So, Marty is a he? Marty is a he. We've been friends for quite a while now, ever since I was in grade school. Mm. Marty looks like? What does Marty look like? Well, he's got kind of a concave face. Yeah. yeah. No, I will. I will. He's, um, he's tall. Um, mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's got kind of, uh, his hands are kind of like talons a little bit. Um, and he has, uh, this, uh, his neck isn't really a neck, it kind I'm of protrudes, so it's kind of like a... Marty is invisible, like a, he he has a face to you, he has a face. Well, I, can, I can see him, but it's... it's he has a body. He's not corporeal. He's not corporeal. So if I come over and I say, oh, how you doing, you can't, Marty? Oh. You know, is that going to make him... Well, he's over here, he slid out of the way, but that's oh, a little rude. So he's sly, oh. too. He's a, he's a real sly double. Yeah? Okay. Okay, um... This is getting really weird, because that's a little invasive. Oh, this is getting weird now. Yeah, it's a little invasive. Okay, okay. His, can I have my chair back? Come on, come on, get up. Let her sit down. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead. No, I'll just tell her thank you. Has he moved now? Yeah, he's back over here. He says thanks for the lap dance. I don't understand what that was about. I, I, you know, non-corporeal means... It, First of all, not appropriate. Please, just... Help me understand this very extreme situation. Okay. It's not extreme. It's fairly common. I have 
best friend who happens to be invisible. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole network of people. Go to FIFI.com. FIFI.com, please. Yeah, friends of Inter Invisible Friends, friends International. Of friends of International Friends. No, Friends of Invisible Friends International. Friends of Invisible Friends so International. So we post, uh, we post pictures, we, um, we network pictures with each other. Pictures of invisible people. No. Like Ted and I talked for hours that you day. It's my name. It's under my name. He was weird of weirds. A funny little man, but not hopeless. What if I played along? So this is, yeah, it was right here where right we first here. met. We're standing right on the spot. And after you graduated high school, is that when he moved in with you? Oh, he doesn't live with me. He's never lived with me. I've always lived alone. Okay. He's just... So you two... No, I asked you. Come on, I asked you if you wanted to move in. You said no. <laughs> He's being really, really cagey today. So you two don't cuddle then together? No, I'm not gay. No. Oh, I wasn't inferring a gayness. Yeah, I just we're meant just, we're friends. I'm, you know, just, you know, come here, come on. What? Well, we're doing this partly with, for you, with you. Oh, okay, okay, we'll talk later. He's kind of proud. He's yeah. upset right now. Well, he's just going on. No, no. Come here. Hold on, just a second. Excuse me. What's going on, man? Come on. This is, you, you wanted this with both of us. And you've been like, you know, we've been button heads ever since. I don't know what your problem is. No, no, that's not true. I asked you if you wanted to do this. I at come on. Okay. Marty, come on. Mar Marty. Oh, he's gone. Where'd he go? I don't know, I don't see him anywhere. What if I played along? Could I take his quirks and emotional baggage and transform them into the greatest documentary of all time?